So guys, I'm back today with a video and my family keep requesting that I do a makeup video so I'm finally gonna do one. Um, I'm not a pro at makeup or anything like that but I'm just gonna do my makeup and I've actually got such an exciting package today. So XX Revolution has just come out, they're like new brand and personally I'm such a big fan of Revolution, literally I love their makeup. I've got so many of their things, so many of their products um, but I, yeah, from the like just original Revolution and Revolution Pro range. But now they've got XX Revolution. So, of course, I did an order. This is the box it came in. It's so nice. Um, all the packaging was like so extra compared to like what I've received from Revolution before. Though, to be fair, I don't really do like online orders and normally buy it in store. So, it came with this little thing. Um, but basically, I think the inspiration for their new range is like skincare products within makeup. So, it's like skincare and makeup brought together but oh my god i'm so excited i've literally been eyeing it up when my mum told me about it i was like and then ever since we've been like waiting for it to come out so the first thing i ordered which actually are so cute is these little sprays because i've these aren't actually from the xx range they're just from revolution skincare but i've not actually got any of their skincare products and i've seen quite a lot of people rave about these so i was like oh my god i have to get them and i didn't know which one to choose so i was like do you know what the little travel one with three things in it is really good i got the mini essence spray collection hello hydration so it's got a super fruit spray a rose hip spray and so cute it comes in a plastic case i love things that are like mini and come in little mini cases and then i got a hyaluronic hydrating essence spray so i'm going to try this out first because i've never actually tried and i really want to try the hyaluronic one first because it just sounds the best you know a pink grapefruit all right let's give this a go mm. oh Oh my god, wow. That's lovely. That smells really nice. So I'm excited to try the others as well. Obviously, can't really comment on them because I don't really know whether they're going to do anything until I use them. But I thought they were nice just under your foundation to, like, get you glowing. And I'm definitely glowing. Right, so then the other things I got are the Glow Skin Foundation, which was £15, I think. So, yeah, I think it was £15, which is expensive, obviously, for Revolution. But as it's their new brand, I think it's supposed to be a bit higher quality so i got this in fx 5.7 let's hope that's gonna be the right shade because i hate trying to work out my shade online obviously you can't test the product and you have no idea but i just went for what looked best and then i also got the concealer the concealer is the super fix concealer i love the new packaging i think it's really cool and i got um cx 0.3 this looks very light but i did want a brightening like light concealer and then i got this retro excess blush and then honestly absolutely amazing right so i ordered these products and it came to like 50 pound i think because everything is a little bit more expensive um and obviously i did get three skincare products as well so that was like a tenner oh oh no and i got this i forgot i got the xx fine brow definer the micro one because i like a really thin like nib on the end of my um brow pencils and my benefit one has just run out i thought you know what i'll try the revolution one and see how the quality is because obviously it's supposed to be higher quality so i got that in the shade deep brown and then the best part about the pa package is if you order on revolution beauty at the moment i don't know if they're still doing this i'm literally not sure it came with a mystery bag right so i was expecting me and my mum both made an order and we were expecting the mystery bag to be like some rubbishy makeup like you know normally a mystery gift's like something a bit rubbishy and cheapy like i just feel like it normally is like a freebie oh my god the amount of things i got in the mystery bag i was amazed so they put a revolution pro lipstick in there in this gorgeous colour, so obviously I'll try that out in today's video. So already I was like, oh, a nice lipstick and a nice colour. They put a stippling brush in there, which I think this is like £7 on its own, because me and my mum were looking up all the products together come to like £30. I love it, it's so nice, and it feels, oh, oh, that is so nice. It literally feels lush. Um, So I was like, that's a really good thing to put in there. And then this revolution pro i think this is their pro range it looks like it from the packaging anyway look how gorgeous this gold glittery packaging is this is like a jelly highlight honestly this looks amazing such a weird texture though not gonna lie a whole palette like i can believe it i'm like i've never seen a mystery bag so good so much products to get for free i think that's just such a good thing for revolution to do like i feel like i don't know many other brands that would do that so you know 
such a good brand i love them i heart revolution golden bar it looks really nice it's quite like shimmery it's in fact every single shade is shimmer so i wouldn't like obviously use all the shades for one eye look so i will use other eyeshadow today gorgeous and this i heart revolution unicorn palette which is so cute right let me show you guys this love the packaging as well it's all like holographic cute look at that it's got unicorns sorry can't see my face it's actually got unicorns like what's it called embedded indented i don't know what's that called embossed into it so i thought that was really really good so i had to show you guys that first i'm not going to use all those products today um but i will definitely give this a go and the lipstick i'm just not going to use the eyeshadows um because they're just not the look that i'm going for i'm going to kind of just do my normal like makeup today um but obviously trying out all the new products so i'm gonna actually start off with my eyes so let's open the concealer because i normally use like a concealer as my eyeshadow base this is the concealer they've definitely you can tell like this range is more expensive because they've definitely upped their packaging like it's like frosted this isn't actually glass it's like frosted plastic but you know it gives that effect and i love this color of the lid and the like metal it looks like it's got quite a lot in there it's quite a big concealer so this is the applicator which i think is so interesting this looks very light this shade i might have gone too light the packaging is so interesting it literally like it's like a little little foot let's put this on my eyes probably only need a little bit because hopefully a little bit goes a long way um but yeah i'm gonna blend that onto my eyes obviously it doesn't really matter what color this is to be fair i'm gonna blend that in i mean it's blending out really nicely that actually doesn't look too bad of a color but i don't know whether when i've got my foundation on and i go to put that under my eyes it's gonna be like white got that on my eyelids um it seems nice seems like an all right consistency can't really tell too much from just my base and then today i'm just going to use my everyday normal morphe palette that i've been using for my eyeshadow this is just the morphe 350m it's just got like loads of neutral and brown shade which to be honest for like everyday makeup is just basically what i use so i just get like a big fluffy real techniques brush i'm just gonna get like the lightest neutral shade just to like set that all in place I'm just gonna go for a nice matte winged out look at the moment i'm loving the like foxy look kind of the fashion at the moment it's like this foxy eye which just like a winged out kind of brown a bit softer than like a proper black smoky eye it's like a soft smoky eye but with browns so anyway good description there from me set that all in place and then i just go in with like a light brownie shade i mean there's about a million shades in this palette so i'm just gonna go in with that i literally just use the biggest brush and just like blend that all into my crease my mirror's over here so i'm like sorry if i'm looking that way and then yeah at the moment i'm loving obviously i'll do it once my um foundation's on but i'm loving like bringing my eyeshadow really high up and winged out like almost into my head which sounds a bit weird but i'm just liking the vibes and then a little bit in here up here which also sounds really weird but i feel like it really contours that area if i can contour and make myself look any better honey i will so yeah pretty much pretty neutral and then like a little bit more only tiny bit more preciser brush and i'll just get the darker brown and literally just like put that in my outer corner and like wing it up a little bit and then i'll just blend that out so now that's pretty much all blended out now i will add a bit after i've done my foundation so i can really wing it out up there you know um but then i will just I'm just going to do one eye at a time to show you. And then I'm just, I need a, I thought I ordered a brown coal liner, but it turns out I haven't. So it's really annoying, but I just get a little, because that's what I need, like a brown eyeliner to go in my waterline, because that's what I've been liking lately. So then I get like the darkest, one of the darkest shades in the palette. This bad boy, this bad boy. Okay, and then I'll just like put that darkest brown up here and push that into my waterline. And I'm just going to like kind of make like a small wing um obviously it's not very precise because this brush is not very precise there you go you can see that so yeah just make a little brown wing that one's actually turned out quite well and i'll bring that down into my waterline as well like just and then i'll just make sure that i go in this bit here because i feel like at the moment that gives you that like cat-eyed winged effect where you're like snatched i want to be you know i want my whole face to be pulled up here and snatched and I feel like that gives you that look if you get your eyeshadow and just kind of make like a... I don't know what that bit of your eye is called, actually. This bit here of your eye, 
but yeah that kind of gives like the cat eye effect um so i'm gonna go do the other eye come back to you guys and then we'll use the rest of the actual products that i want to show you today so i've done my other eye now so they're pretty much the same just done literally exactly the same thing i didn't want to spend too long doing my eye makeup because obviously i'm not using revolution products and this is mainly about my exciting new revolution makeup so then the next thing i do is literally i just get a makeup wipe and i just even though there's not like major fallout i just like to clean up that bit so that i get like a nice line ready for my concealer and i literally just go obviously it's only eyeshadow there but it cleans up the eyeshadow to give it like a smooth sleek like line you see that <gasps> let's move on to the actual face makeup which is the part that i'm mainly excited for so at the moment i'm using these are my two favorite primers they do have new revolution xx primers and let me tell you i've seen some videos they look interesting by the way if you're wondering why i rotate it's because i'm on a spinny chair they do have new primers and they look interesting i was like do i order one do i not but money wise i was like i'm just gonna buy the things that i really want because i don't want to spend too much money so um but they do look they do look good i'm using my fenty primer pro filter fenty beauty and i love it it's literally my favorite primer ever so i use this primer to like I can't describe what this primer is like honestly it's not like mattifying and it's not glowy. It's just like, like literally just smooths out your skin and makes it feel like so nice and just ready for makeup. It kind of just feels like moisturizer, but a bit tacky, which I feel like is always good because it sticks on your makeup, you know? And then I also just want to get that glow, even though the foundation's glowy, I do just want to be glowy. So I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow, um, which I haven't used this load. I got it, but then I'm like, oh, it's so expensive. I don't want to use it too much, especially not in lockdown. And I'm just going to put that on like the points of my face that I want to be really glowy. So I don't put it all over. I just kind of put it on my cheekbones, on my forehead, and a bit on my upper lip and my nose. Don't know whether two primers is a little bit unnecessary, but... If I'm going to be unnecessary, then why not? It's time to open the foundation. I really hope the colour shade matches. So I got FX 5.7. So yeah, I really am praying that this matches. Because honestly, it's so hard to like... I, look, I just looked at the swatches on the person's arm. Because I thought that's probably going to be the best representation. Okay. Alright, that shade actually looks okay from the box. I mean, you can't really tell. But anyway, this foundation, Glow Skin Foundation, it says lightweight, buildable, skin true foundation, medium full coverage. So I'll have to test that out. Um, but again, this packaging is gorgeous. To be fair, I kind of wish it had this lid, but they, they do have another one. So they have two foundations. One of them's the double wear one, which if I love this one, I'm obviously going to get the double wear one. And I'll wear that for like nights out and more when I want more of a matte finish. Um, whereas this one, I'll probably just more like an everyday foundation. And this is actually glass. So this is like plastic frosted, but they look the same. Um, and this is actually glass foundation. So it is very bougie for them. I love all their foundations, to be honest. Revolution's definitely one of those brands where literally I've tried, I think I've tried the Pro Drops. I used to have the stick foundation. I loved that. I've had the, I've at the moment before I bought this, I've been using the Conceal and Define. Again, such a good foundation, but that one's quite thick. Um, so I'm hoping this one's a bit more light because that one sometimes I can't use it all over. And look, Silver Pump. I love that. I love the pump. It's just like, great. Waiting for it to come. It's come out. Okay. Oh, okay. So it looks like an okay colour actually. It's like, I chose the one that was a yellow undertone because I don't really like things like pink undertone. So it's quite like a yellowy colour. Um, but I reckon that's going to blend with my, because my arms are kind of like a different colour to my face. They're a bit more tan. So let's see. So excited to use this. I'd say it definitely in consistency feels really lightweight. It doesn't feel heavy at all. Like just from putting on my face. It doesn't feel too like thick like the other one. At the moment, I'm trying to learn to, like, use less foundation um, and, like, use less concealer as well because I've been seeing lots of people just do, like, little dots of concealer because apparently you don't need as much as, like, a whole swipe. You know, I think that's a bit excessive, so maybe I've been doing that too. Um, but it's nice that, anyway, because the weather's been, well, until now, the weather's been quite nice, I feel like I can get away with, like, less foundation because my skin's got a bit of colour to it and although I have got some breakouts on my chin which is really annoying it's definitely like a uh, pretty full coverage like I've got quite a lot of spots on my chin you can still see like the texture of them at the moment but you can't see the redness or anything 
see that so it's covered like completely and i mean sometimes i don't really like this but it has actually covered my freckles up so it is pretty i'd say they're probably right with medium to full coverage it's definitely covered everything and it's blending nice and easily okay wow it definitely has left my skin with such a beautiful like glowy finish i feel like the lighting is quite weird there i'm not sure but it literally let's come up here there we go like it's left my skin you can still see my freckles a little bit which is nice and it's definitely left me with like a glowy really dewy finish which i really like so i'm very happy with that i think i love it <laughs> trying to compare the shade because my neck's a lot lighter but then the rest of my body is darker than my neck is that weird you know but i don't know why because i just my neck hasn't really seen the sun as much but yeah i think that's a really good color match actually so i'm happy with that okay let's go in with the concealer see how that one performs so i'm really happy with the foundation so far i definitely want to try the other one i'm very intrigued and you don't need much product like i feel like that's a little bit it's gone a long way with that right let's try the concealer because concealer is quite light but again i went for the yellowy undertone because i didn't really want it be, to be too pink so recently concealer wise this is what i've seen people doing so a little bit in here you only need like a literal a small bit a little bit here to like lift the face so this is what like i've just seen different people doing to put a little bit on my nose because i have quite a red nose i get loads of redness around my nose a little bit here and here that's just my personal preference it looks like quite light but obviously i do want it to highlight so let's see yeah this part of your lips i never used to do but apparently it's supposed to give you like a bit of a bit of a lip lift i don't know lift your face which does make sense and then blend in that bit in my nose always like to do just a bit of concealer down my nose because it gets very red and stuff let's blend in these little side bits does anyone else have to do that like pull out their nose to get in the like side creases to I've never ever ever seen anyone else do that on camera is that weird but i always do that so i can like get in there because else it just stays red and it just looks weird <laughs> don't know if that's just really strange it's definitely really really easy to blend oh no just concealed over my eyeshadow it's fine just went a bit crazy that song i'm really liking this it's not heavy at all it's really lightweight i will say that it's very like let's put the mirror here so i can try and look at you guys more there we go um but yeah it's really lightweight concealer which i really like and it's so easy to blend you only literally need a tiny bit i wouldn't go like all the way under your eyes because sis you're gonna be looking crazy but yeah it's been a dream to blend out look at that wow the coverage on that honestly i would say that is pretty full coverage for a concealer like my under eyes you can't see any color or like dark circles that has just literally and look how much that's like brightened and lifted. i can feel like i did get a pretty light shade but hopefully i can darken it up with my bronzer and things and that foundation haven't even had to conceal my spots like i didn't put concealer on my spots on my chin because the foundation's covered it these two are a win-win i would say they're a must like that's really good so the next thing i do in my makeup which i don't actually obviously have from revolution um is contour so i'm just gonna do a bit cream contour so this is the um benefit hula quick contour stick and i absolutely love this i do a little bit down my nose and honestly, this contour stick, a little bit on my chin, is so good for if you... I'm going to use my new stippling brush. Might as well try it out. It's so good for if you, like, are worried or scared about contour because it doesn't leave any harsh lines. It's really, really easy to blend. So, yeah, I do a little bit on my chin just to get that shadow. If I can get rid of my double chins, I will try. This is a nice brush as well. Like, it's blending everything out very easily. So yeah, now I'm all contoured, which just gives me a little bit of colour as well. I feel like it's quite a warm contour. It's not one of those grey ones that's going to make you look like crazy, you know? Um, so there's that. And then I'm going to go in with... Oh my God, I can't wait to try this. Actually, I completely forgot. I'm going to go in with the jelly highlighter that they sent for free. This is so strange. I'm so intrigued. I like... This is perfect that they put like a gold toned one. It's really odd consistency because I feel like you only need a tiny bit and this is going to go a long way. Because I I um, prefer like golder toned highlights to like pinky toned highlights. So I'm glad that it's a gold one. 
I feel like Revolution have up their game. That's definitely why they've changed the price points. Are you all right over that? <laughs> Look at that. Look at that glow. Wow. I don't know if you can see because I'm doing like weird faces and that thing, but honestly, that is glowy. And do you know what I love about it? Tom, do you mind? But yeah, also, what I really like about it is it's not got glitter chunks in it. Like, I really don't like... Well, I don't mind it, but I don't really like highlight if it's, like, too glittery. Like, you can see glitter on your face. Sometimes I do if I want, like, to be a bit extra. But, yeah, I'm just going to put a little bit of that on my forehead, on my nose, on my cheekbones, and on my cupid's bow. I am loving that. It's a very interesting formula, but it literally blends like a dream. My base is looking lush. I better set that all in place. So I just used the RCMA translucent powder. Um, so I just opened the lid, obviously not trying to get too much product, but I just put a little bit and I actually use my sponge for this, for dish, for dish. And then I'll do a tiny bit under here. I don't really bake as such nowadays. I feel like I just put it under, like put it under my eyes for a few seconds and leave it there and then kind of pat it in. And I always do a little bit of my chin because my makeup always wears away there and around my nose. And then for the rest of my face, I don't really bake it or set it. I just kind of pat it in. But obviously I don't want to get rid of the glow too much. So I'm only going to do like a really little bit. And you can see, obviously I've put powder on, but I've still got that glow literally from all the products that I've used. So I'm very, very happy with that. I'm going to use bronzer i have actually got a revolution bronzer I'm really excited to try it but it's at my mum's house so she actually ordered it for me because we went on revolution and ordered our stuff and then the next day boots came out with three for two so she was like oh my god i've got to order more products and i was like oh my god and she was like do you want a bronzer i was like i really do so i was very happy with that so but at the moment i just used so i'm excited to try the bronzer unfortunately haven't got it for this video but i'm sure it's really good um so I've just got the Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer, which is the one that I use. I was using a big brush for my bronzer, but now I prefer being a bit more precise. So it's actually a Revolution one that I got in their Christmas Advent Calendar. So the last two years I've got their Christmas Advent Calendar, which is also so good. A little pat in there, not too much, because this bronzer is really pigmented. Put that on my face, on my cheek bones, on the apples of my cheeks. And then I'll just put a little bit on the tip of my nose. And then I'll just get my big brush. Always do this, this big, huge, fluffy one. Don't know where this is from. Oh, elf. And then I'll just bronze my neck. Blend that all in. So now I've got my bronzer on and I'm literally glowing. And now I'm gonna try the blush. So this is a bit different for me. I went for the, um, the retro blush, which is literally like a bright orange. So I'm intrigued to see how that is going to go. The packaging for all their stuff is so nice. They do like a the bronzer that I've got, I'll have to show you guys at some point, comes in like a gun metal colour, which I absolutely love. Like this colour, but it's like in this packaging, but the blush comes in the pink one. And it's like this weird texture. Do you like that sound? Yeah, I like that sound. I like that sound. But yeah, it's like this, it's, it's bougie, definitely. And it's got um, a mirror and like metal inside. I feel like it looks like really professional. And it's got the... X embossed into it, XX. Couldn't seem to find like a mega corally shade when I looked at the shades on Revolution. So I was like, do you know what? I'm just gonna go for an orange because I'm feeling those orangey, sun kissed, holiday vibes. Do you know what I mean? Even though it's raining outside, literally. So, blush, just get this brush here. It's a little real techniques. Travel one, which is super cute. So, I don't know how pigmented this is gonna be. So, I'm just gonna go in with a little bit. Oh, girl, that is pigmented. Wow. That's already like there. I don't know if you guys can see that so much. That is there, yeah, you can. That is very much there. So you only need a tiniest bit. Wow, that has definitely given me like the flush of color I am going for that I really like. So you look at this side and then look at this side. Wow, you can really see it. God, I really need to blend that a bit more. And what I'm enjoying lately is like really bringing my blush up into like, get a smaller brush for this go back with the bronzer one into my temples i feel like then it just makes it like i don't know she like that vibe and around here a little bit and especially as it's an orangey shade that's fine and then a tiny bit on my nose because i feel like if you put a bit of blush on your nose it like blends it all together wow that blush is so nice and if you're a blush kind of person you like to be able to see your blush you would definitely love this but it's also it's not unnatural obviously i feel like it looks like a natural flush but that's a really nice color i'm definitely happy with that one that is definitely going to be a repurchase um, because that is really nice and I'd like a few more shades. 
Um, but I don't know how much that was. That was like, how much was that? Eight pound, ten pound? I don't know. Obviously, a little bit more pricey, and you probably can get some drugstore blushes um cheaper but i feel like it's worth it because of the the beauty of it you know and it's a really nice color so what is the next do you ever get like just stuck in your makeup routine you're like i just what, what am i gonna do next okay highlight let's go on with some highlight the moment i've just been given this by my mum as well so might as well use this while i've got it is the glow kit by anastasia beverly hills just get my little highlight brush i only use this really small brush brushed highlight and i'm just gonna go in i go in with this champagne goldy shade honestly i'm so impressed with the foundation and the concealer well i'm impressed with all of it to be fair but like it's quite hard to do like i feel like you know there's lots of good blushes out there bronzers out there but i feel like it's hard to do a good foundation you know it's not easy so i'm very impressed so next let's go in with brows i've done my skin so literally this is pretty much the last step of the this is the last revolution product sad times so this is a pencil it's metal so i feel like that's definitely um gone up from what it was um because i actually do have their brow pencil it used to be like this and now look at this you know you can definitely see the upgrade and it's like pink metal packaging and on one end it's got the little nib which is tiny nib which is what i definitely what i want and then the other end's got a spoolie so recently i laminated my brows which is great because it makes it a lot easier to fill them in. I literally just brush them into the shape that I want them. And all the hairs like stay up in that shape. Sorry if it's not very good. Um, Whether the light's a bit too bright, I'm not sure. But the natural, couldn't do natural lighting because it's dark outside and miserable. Right, I, I'm going to have to actually get my mirror and look into my mirror to do this. Obviously I will do um it on camera. But you're not going to be able to see very well because I need to focus it is brow time. So yeah, with my brow, I just draw a line here. That's where I start. I start at the front of my brow. I draw a line from there. And then I'll really lightly draw a line from there. And at the moment, I've been liking the look of, rather than my brows, like, I kind of plucked off the end bits of my eyebrow. Rather than my brows used to go, like, up and then down. They're now going out a little bit more. Like, more, I don't know more kind of straight which sounds strange but i'm liking the look of it and then i'll gently fill in my like the sparse bit like sometimes like smudge it with my finger because i don't want it at the front to be like too defined but to be honest this brow pencil i'm not gonna lie is performing well really well wow so at the moment i'm liking the kind of not too defined that might look defined from you but up close it's not as defined it's like a bit bushy a little bit messy and i'm liking the kind of like light brow look just a fluffy big nice brow that honestly very similar to my this is what i normally use to benefit precisely my brow but it's ran out sad times and this is like i don't know 22 23 pounds correct me if i'm wrong somewhere around that and this is like eight pounds sorry guys tom's in the background and he literally won't stop laughing like he's just finding himself so funny so i finished my brows and honestly i'm so impressed with that like i'm genuinely really impressed i'm just gonna use that from now on that's so good that's gonna be my new brow pencil now and it is cheaper so i'm just gonna stick to that that honestly is great i also do have a really good recommendation actually of a, another brow product i got this in my revolution advent calendar that my stepmom got me and it's actually really good i normally use the benefit gimme brow but again i ran out of that so i've been using this ever since and it's honestly really really good the revolution brow gel the original one so it's probably like so cheap and it's so good so if anyone's looking for like an alternative to the gimme brow this is really really good a cheap one as well see i've gone for like that it gives me like just a really good fluffy fluffy eyebrow look which i love at the moment so what i like doing then is getting my big fluffy brush forgot about this can't quite forget getting my big fluffy brush and going back in with the eyeshadow shade just a really light brown and just literally blending that up into my like temple and honestly i feel like this just gives such like a snatched face look that might be a bit um dramatic for some people and i feel like if you blend it in it kind of just looks like bronzer anyway because it's like i wouldn't do it with like a purple do you know what i mean but with like a bronzy shade i feel like it just makes it seamless my eyeshadow blends right in see that yeah I'm really liking the look of that at the moment. And then what I'll do, get my little eyebrow brush because I forgot to do this. And just go underneath my eyes and blend that all in underneath. I always do that. I don't know why I forgot. I feel like as soon as I'm like filming or going for a night out or like getting ready for anything, like just not my everyday, um, 
I just completely forget how to function and do anything and do my makeup. Anyone else? I'm just so impressed with all the Revolution products, honestly. They're such a dream company. Like, I just love them so much. I admire all their products a lot. Um, and especially out of drugstore things. I think they smash the drugstore. And then I'll just get that brown shade, like that dark brown, and just kind of go across my waterline. This is really what I need a pencil for, but it's fine. I really thought I ordered one, but then I checked my order and I didn't, so. But I will be ordering one of their pencils, their eye pencils. And I feel like that, again, just makes the eyes look kind of like more foxy and cat eye. So yeah, now I'm pretty much all done. I've just gonna do my mascara. <gasps> my lipstick! Oh my god, my lipstick. Why am I forgetting everything? Like, thinking I'm literally done when I haven't done my You're lipstick. not done. I'm not done. I let you my favourite mascara is Roller Lash Benefit. If you're wondering what I'm using, but this mascara is just so good. If you haven't tried it, then what are you doing with your life? Go and get some. I have such small like, rubbish eyelashes. So ignore the fact that they probably won't look great. But girl, this does bits if you don't have eyelashes. I pull the funniest faces when I'm doing my mascara. I just can't. Like sometimes I have to poke my tongue out to do my mascara. Ugh. I feel like I've already got some underneath my eye, which is really annoying. I don't know. Oh my god. Stress. Better line my lips. I always like to. I don't know how people do this, right? People just go over the top of their foundation that's on their lips with their lipstick. No. I literally can't do that. I have to take it off with a makeup wipe. I can get back to my natural lip colour. Do you know what I mean? Can't have foundation lips and then go on top of it because then my lips just would get so dry throughout the day. So yeah, let's try out this lipstick. Better line my lips. Is this one? Oh no. Okay, well, I don't know where my sharpener is and my lip liner is really blunt, but we'll give it a go anyway. Oh god, you know, and it just scratches your lips because you really need to sharpen it. That is what I should be doing right now. I don't know why I'm doing this. It's painful. Okay, I'm sorry, but I just can't. Normally, I would line my lips and I don't know where my sharpener is, so normally I would sharpen. But okay, anyway. Again, revolution. Because they're just, you know, I have so many of their products. Um, but I just, yeah, absolutely love this lip liner. I don't actually know what shade it's in, but it's just like a, oh, chauffeur. A nudie pink, so it just fits any kind of lip colour. I prefer like a nudie brown though, but my, again, my other one's not sharpened. So anyway, let's just go straight in with this colour. It's like a reddy, orangey brown. Don't know how to describe that. Wow. Oh my god. Wow. What an amazing colour that is. So I'm just going to get a little bit of lip balm. Um, you could obviously make it matte by just putting some translucent powder over. But Pro Supreme Lipstick Venture is the shade. And um, I actually really like that colour. It's not everyone's kind of colour. Not everyone's cup of tea. And then I always get a bit of karma. A lip balm and just go over the top. Yeah, I really like that. It's so nice. Yeah, I always put a bit of lip balm over my lipsticks because I just hate that feeling of like dryness. Unless I want it really matte. Most of the time, yeah, I just don't want them to be really dry. Um, but that's actually not a really dry one. That's like a satin one. So it'd be fine if you didn't put lip balm over the top but this is the finished look so let me bring you up close a little bit so yeah i feel like my skin let's go here my skin looks so nice and the eyebrows i'm so impressed with that eyebrow pencil that was so easy to do literally and the lip color is gorgeous i love it all oh my god if i would recommend anything i would recommend my skin just looks amazing so i'd probably recommend the foundation or the concealer because i'm just a bit impressed by them both i mean all the other products are amazing as well so i'd recommend it all but you know like as a general if you don't have the coin to spend on everything i would go buy the foundation or concealer because it's so good for a drugstore foundation so anyway that's gonna be the end of my video um i hope you guys all enjoyed the video and i hope my family are happy that i finally now filmed a makeup one so let me know if you like it and i will do some more but yeah i would highly recommend all the revolution xx stuff i'm very excited to buy some more things